Lord. We demand the legislature expand the North Carolina Home Protection Pilot Program and provide better protection against unsuitable and predatory home mortgage loans. Are we going to do was never approved by the North Carolina Council of State. Every execution since 1998 has been illegal. <laughs> Did you know that the odds of receiving a death sentence are 4.4 4 times higher if the victim is white than if the victim is African American? Did you know that at least 37 people on North Carolina's death row were represented at trial by a lawyer who would not meet today's minimum standards of qualification? Mm -hmm. Did you know only two of the state's 39 DAs are black? Mm -hmm. Did you know judges are now forced to give fixed prison terms to habitual offenders and that 74% of those convicted as habitual offenders are African Americans? Did you know, in the past 15 years, the state's prison population has grown from about 21,000 to about 34,000, an increase of 62% compared to the 21% growth in the state's total population? Did you know about half of the prison inmates are non-violent criminals? Did you know that drug, rate, drug use rates among blacks and whites are similar? Almost 70% of the state's drug crime prisoners last year were black compared to only 18% who were white. Did you know that 70% of inmates entering state prisons have not graduated from high school and 40% are functionally illiterate? Mm -hmm. Because you now know, therefore, we demand that the state of North Carolina join the civilized people of the world and abolish the death penalty. <laughs> we remain the state of violence, disproportionate, mandatory minimum, and enhanced sentences for minorities. We remain the state fully funded alternative sentencing programs, drug courts, mental health courts, drug rehabilitation programs, sentencing programs, things that decrease recidivism. We demand the Department of Corrections work with the Department of Public Instruction to ensure that all able inmates learn to read, write, and become too computer literate within the first two years of incarceration. And finally, we remain a joint NAACP Department of Correction program where NAACP branches are formed in every prison to strengthen inmate ties to their families and their communities and to facilitate re-entry into society. But we also demand a moratorium on prison construction and spend fully on public education, alternative sentence programs, and literacy programs. 